Now, Professor Hawking, in the very last paragraph of your book, you say that if we discover a complete theory of the universe, then it should in time be understandable in broad principle to everyone and not just to a few scientists. And when that happens, all of us will be able to start discussing the why rather than the how. And I quote, if we find the answer to that, it would be the ultimate triumph of human reason, for then we would know the mind of God. Do you think that God can intervene in the universe as he wants, or is God too bound by the laws of science? The question of whether God is bound by the laws of science is a bit like the question. Can God make a stone that is so heavy that he cannot lift it? I don't think it is very useful to speculate on what God might or might not be able to do. Rather, we should examine what he actually does with the universe we live in. All our observations suggest that it operates according to well-defined laws. These laws may have been ordained by God, but it seems that he does not intervene in the universe to break the laws, at least, not once he had set the universe going. However, until recently, it was thought that the laws would necessarily break down at the beginning of the universe. That would have meant that God would have had complete freedom to choose how the universe began. In the last few years, however, we have realized that the laws of science may hold even at the beginning of time. In that case, God would have had no freedom. The way the universe began would be determined by the laws of science. Well, thank you very much.